Hey, welcome to the official Windows 8.1 channel. So um, today we're going to talk about WordPad. It's a little known fact that for most people that will just do a little, you know, a letter here and there for um, to send or a little text or even you know, a little more complicated stuff there's no need to actually buy a word processor you don't need to really have that big word processor that has so many features and in windows and since a long time ago i believe windows 95 had one um, if not windows 3.1 back in the early 90s had a um, feature called wordpad that's integrated so in windows 8.1 same thing there is a basic word processor called WordPad. So to find it, all you have to do is go into your charms bar, click search and just type WordPad. And you will see that WordPad is there and you can click on it. And it's actually a nice little word processor that has all the features, the basic features that most, most people will need. Uh, you have, of course, your fonts. You have access to your text size, you have access to basic, um, you know, bold, um, underlined, italic, you have access to, um, you know, centered or uh, left or right columns or whatever, justify. It basically does what probably 80% of the people that want a little word processor does. So there's no need to get Word. Of course, if you are exchanging files or documents with other people, it is recommended to have something else, something better, like either Word, the official uh, word processor from Microsoft, or OpenOffice, which has a Word-like uh, and a Word-compatible um, text. Uh, managing system so um, that's for sure if you want to share with others but if it's just you know for making that little that letter or that text just for yourself um, and even if you share it every Windows computer has a word pad so everybody can open it and basically even if you send this text to someone that uses Word, Word can open WordPad documents, so there's no problem there. It's just the other way around. WordPad cannot open Word documents unless they are saved in a uh, either a text or, or a uh, RTF, a real text, uh, rich text format. But for most usage, uh, you know, this is enough. And has all the features that you might want in a word processor and uh, works very well and once you've done your text you can go and, on the file you can save as you can print your text um, basically like all word processors can do if you want to have a uh, the wordpad on your on your start screen or on your uh, desktop you can either go into your program so if you go into your list of programs here you can um, click the little arrow on the bottom left and here you will find somewhere in here uh, wordpad is in that list of apps so um, either just you know put it by name so which means that is going to be in w so if you go into w and uh, actually it's somewhere here it must be since it's a program and not an app it's like probably far in the list here and if we look actually it's uh, right here it's in Windows accessories uh, you have WordPad and you can right click on it and you can uh, pin to the taskbar so that you'll have it available on your desktop mode if you're using the desktop and you can also pin to start which means that now you have wordpad pinned to your start screen and if you go into the desktop if you've pinned to the taskbar you should see and it's right here at the bottom that wordpad icon so that you can use it 
whatever mode you're using Windows. So uh, don't forget, it's an amazing little word processor actually. And uh, for most people that I've seen actually, it's enough. The only thing is you can't open Word documents. Uh, so if, of course, it doesn't replace if you're, like I said, if you're um, receiving documents from friends, then if you don't want to pay, get Open Office, and or else get the real Microsoft Office suit. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe to our channel, and you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe you have a feature of Windows that you'd like us to talk about, let us know. We'll try to put that video online, and hopefully. You will come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.